So now I want to tell you how you can make payroll deposits and pretty much get anything you want. Anything that you would need a proof of income for. And remember, you are an independent contractor, so you don't need a check stub. You pay all of your taxes at the end of the year. I'll be telling you everything in order. Now, you don't have to do it in this order, but from my experience, this is the best way. The first thing you want to do is you want to come up with a business name without saying what you sell or what you do. If you guys stay to the end, I'll show you my notes, my opinions, and my process on how I did this. So the first thing you need is a business name without saying what you sell or what you do. Then you need a business address. Just use a digital online mailbox. iPostal, there's other ones out there. Just search online for a digital online mailbox. You don't need a physical location, just get that. Then you need a dedicated business phone line. There's plenty of apps out there. GoDaddy, SmartLine, there's plenty of them out there. Just search the Play Store, search the App Store, and you'll find a good one. Next, you'll need a business website. I use Wix, and your website does not have to be complete. You just need the website so you can do the next thing, which is buy domain name. The only reason you'll need a website and a business domain name so you can get a business email address. So that's three things in one business website domain name business email address you really can do everything with godaddy but wix is a lot easier and a lot friendlier when creating a website so once you have those six things done which is the business name business work address business phone number business website domain name business email address you move on to the llc your llc protects you from your business so if your business gets sued it won't fall on you for your llc you can wait 10 business days or you can just pay an expedited service fee and you can get it within 24 hours. Now, once your LLC is approved, you wanna move on to the final step, which is getting your EIN number. Once you start filling your EIN application out, they'll ask you about your LLC and you'll already have it. So this is a good reason why you would wanna do the EIN very last. Now that you have all of these steps completed, you can finally apply for your business checking account. Once your business checking account gets approved, it will be set up for your business so when you send deposits to your bank, it'll have your business name instead of your name. And this is the way you get payroll deposits. A couple of notes I would add is to use two banks so you can send the money and you can receive the money. And when you send the money, make sure you send the exact amount you have documented. It's real simple to keep track of yours in an app called Hours. Try to keep it up getting paid weekly or bi-weekly. The longer period of time, the better. But those are really your main points to getting payroll deposits. Like I promised, I'll show you the notes. Once again, thanks to you guys. Get rich and peace out.